In today's AI tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make 3D buildings and even villages using this program that's so easy to do. It's just drawing with a marker and bam, you create the craziest 3D AI art. As you can see in this example here, all you have to do is just draw out the base structure and you get some of the greatest visuals ever that could be used for video games and other different use cases. So that's what we'll be going over in today's video. We'll be using the platform called skybox ai created by blockade labs now this tutorial is going to be very easy to follow through as the program is not that difficult to use and the best part is is that it's all done through the web so you don't need to download anything to your own computer if you don't want to so once you're on the skybox ai site you just have to acknowledge their privacy messages and then get started now it might be confusing at first on how to create your first environment so what you want to do is actually go to the create new option and it's going to create an entirely new environment and before we get into actually creating an environment some other settings i wanted to show you you can add in a skybox which allows you to see your environment outside of the grid and you can also add a flat plane grid as you can see on screen right now but we're going to remove those in this example we're just going to use that base cube box now if you ever want to hide the ui you simply click this button and you get a better view of everything i'll actually exit out of there so it's full screen there you can see the entire box both the ui in the way and you can also do this auto pan which basically moves your screen around and gives you that cinematic look so we're going to select that off so it just stops moving the screen and we're going to turn on our ui once again now in order to draw things on the screen it is incredibly easy to do so all you want to do is go to the brush icon here you want to switch it off the hand and go to brush and then you can change the size of your brush by expanding and going up so now our brush is massive or you can go down and make the brush smaller now if you ever mess up you can easily erase it by going to the eraser tool on the side here and you can also expand the size of the eraser brush and we're just going to make it nice and big there to get rid of all those mistakes we made now if you don't want to use the brush let's say let's say you did one line that you don't like so for example I want to keep this first line but the second line that I made I don't really like and it's gonna be hard to use a brush to remove it it's gonna kind of mess it up so what you can do is just hit control Z on the keyboard and that will go backwards so we'll remove that step Alrighty, the last thing we'll talk about is going to be the actual prompts at the bottom here. But before you do any of your prompts, I highly suggest drawing in the base of what you want to create. So think about what you want to create in today's video. We're going to create some type of cyberpunk alleyway. I'm going to try and do something similar to the example that I showed you on screen. However, it's definitely not going to be as good already. So with our brush tool selected, we are just going to make the base of our building. Now, what's nice about the grid lines is that you can actually follow them to help make your lines a lot smoother and if you ever want to reposition the camera you just go to the move tool right here or h on your keyboard and you can keep adjusting your line so i'm going to connect it to the other side and go down and then use h on the keyboard to adjust and the brush tool is actually b so just switching between those on your keyboard makes the process a lot faster now here we have our first shape it is just a simple square the next thing we have to do is connect it so it's actually a nice little cube so we're going to do that right now just doing the ceilings now final connection and i think we should be good see oh we got to add the floor as well Alrighty, perfect now we have our box that we wanted to create it's time to add some designs to it so i'm going to add like a nice little wall here with some cool dangly wires i have no idea what it's going to generate with this stuff that i'm creating right now but Let's get creative with it. Kind of looks like a jellyfish. On this wall, I want to create some like giant doors. So it's kind of like a massive dungeon or something like that. And yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. We'll do some like cool castle theme. See what the AI is able to give us with our base creation. On this wall, I'm just going to make some windows. I'm making them very crappy, but this is just for the sake of the tutorial to show you guys how all of this stuff works. And on this side, I'm going to do the same thing i'm going to make those massive dungeon doors that we were creating on this side here on the ceiling i'm just going to do a massive smiley face i have no idea what we're going to get with this smiley face but let's see what happens 
Alrighty, so I think we are finished our 3D generation of some type of dungeon. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but it is going to be up to our prompt and how we prompt it out as well. So now it is time, and I'd argue the most important part of the process, creating a good prompt for our world. Now, from my testing, Skyblocks works slightly different than a program like Midjourney, if you have experience with that, where the prompts are assessed a lot differently. In Skybox, I like to just explain the world I'm doing and kind of leave it at that. Whereas mid journey, I like to put in all those different prerequisites, like changing the aspect ratio of the image, how realistic the image looks, all of those niche details you'd maybe do in mid journey. I don't really like doing in Skybox because I don't think it works as well. So we're just going to give a base prompt that states hallway inside of a luxury castle with gold accessories and white textured walls, red carpet floors with nice bright lights and a poster of a king on the wall. The ceiling of the hallway should be a sculpted statue of a king with golden accents. So I went into decent amount of detail, but you could definitely go into way more detail if you choose to. And the only other thing we have to left to do is choosing the actual style of our 3D generated world. And honestly, this is one of the most important parts as it's going to change the entire environment depending on the style you go with. Now we're going to run with the interior views style, and then we're going to hit generate. Now I have no previous experience using interior views. I've tried a few different styles and they've all turned out so well. So I am curious to see how well this interior views does. I assume it's for inside environments, which is why I chose it. However, I haven't created an inside environment with this program yet. So I'm very curious to see how this works out. Additionally, if you don't like your first generation, you can click this button called the remix this, which takes in the environment that you created and then allows you to make minor changes to it. So it's more to your liking. I'll show you that after this generates. Now, the only problem with Skybox is that it does take a while for these renders to come out. And I mean, it makes sense. It's all done through the web. So don't expect this technology to act fast. But there we go. Our generation is complete and damn. I mean, for our first ever time using the interior views style, it's not bad. As you can see, we have the lines that we made in the floor you can see there with the golden textures. We have these windows that turned into mirrors, but hey, I'm not complaining because I think it looks great. Now, it definitely didn't pick up on the smiley face. It made this kind of like weird golden rectangular texture, but I think it's all right. And then our jellyfish over here, it kind of made these squiggly shelves that look pretty cool. But what it did really well was actually creating the doors for us. And I just love the design. This is not what I was imagining, but I'm, I'll take it. I meant to have two closed doors, but it figured this one was opened and it was a chandelier. And honestly, I think it turned out way better. And then looking at the other side, it has the two closed doors, but they're actually glass doors. And you can see outside, you can even see like trees and environment. If you want to zoom in on anything, you just scroll with your scroll wheel. I forgot to mention that. But now let's go to the remix this option. Now let's say I don't want it to be light outside. Well, I'm going to add that in my remix. I'm going to add in a prompt at the end that says nighttime. And I'm going to change the style to realistic and let's see how much our design is going to change and as you guys can see with our changes we have a lot more of a darker vibe to the room obviously the same styles it's still got those curved shelves but the outside is much different as we change that up we got rid of the gold accents prompt at the end of our prompt now if you want to download an image of your final render you can do that by selecting download your image is going to look something like this so it gives a full perspective of how your room actually looks. Now, what's really cool is there is a button called add to this that's coming, which will allow you to draw in the room after the fact. So let's say I wanted to make a shelf on this side right here. Well, I could just draw it in and it would create that shelf, which is pretty cool. That's my tutorial on how to use Skybox AI. If you like AI videos like this, subscribe to the channel, leave a like and have yourselves a fantastic day.